MBD, metabolic bone disease, and everything you need to know. So before we get on to how to rectify MBD, we need to know what it is. So MBD is an improper calcium metabolism within your reptiles. The reptile's bones struggle to absorb any sort of calcium being given to it, if any calcium is being given to him in the first place. MBD can be extremely fatal to your animals. It can be deadly. This is serious, and if you do spot you've got it, you need to do everything you can to help rectify it. Now, MBD comes in different forms. Five different forms. Well, four different forms and a secondary, and I'll run through them now. The first one is osteoporosis. It's just there. That is brittle, brittle bones and fractures and stuff like that. That's the starting stages of it. The second one is osteomalysis. Big words for me. That is the softened bones. That's where the bones get really soft and really bendy. Then you've got rickets. That is where the bones become enlarged, longer and thinner, which makes them more brittle and a lot bendier. So number four is fibroosteodystrophy. Work that one out. That's a big word. I'll put it here and probably here and here and here and here. And yeah, so on and so on. But that's one of the worst forms of MBD. Now, that is where you've got the soft bones, the soft jawline. They have absolutely no strength in the bones. They can't hold their weight up. They can't chew their food. That is the serious one. But while all this is going on, there's something else happening in the background that you don't tend to see too much of. It's called hypoparathyroidism. And that is where the blood in your animal has noticed there's not enough blood, uh, calcium within the blood and it's starting to take calcium out of the bones. That's when it starts to get really serious because then the bones are losing calcium from the blood. It's getting transferred into the blood so the blood can transfer it around the body and stuff like that. And you're not obviously not giving them enough calcium or there's an illness within your animal that won't allow your animal to absorb the calcium that you are giving them. That's when it gets extremely fatal. That's when it gets bad. So the most common cause of MBD is improper care. Big words, improper care, very important words. People do not care for their animals as they should. People don't give them any calcium supplements, any nutrient supplements. Diurnal animals like bearded dragons, they don't give them the correct UVB light. Now most people think UVBs can just be aesthetic reasons, make it pretty. No, the correct UVB the correct UVB strip light changed at the correct intervals is vitally important. That helps your animal, your bearded dragon, your leopard geckos, anything like that, absorb the calcium into their bones and into their blood system so that it can get transferred around their body. The correct UVB lighting, the correct calcium and the correct nutrient products. So the moral of the story is quite simple. When you do get an animal, if you are thinking about getting an exotic animal, do your research, do your correct research, the correct places to look for your research. Make sure you look after your animal correctly. If you do, here's an example. I told you. Now how to cure metabolic bone disease. There really is no cost effective way to do it. The best way to do it is go to the vets. But if you do see the starts of it, the very few minute little details the best thing to do is double check all your temperatures, change out your UVB lighting, make sure you're putting the calcium and the nutrients on top of every food that they are having and simply monitor for a few weeks and see how they get on. If you do find there is any problems, whether the problems persist or whether they get worse, then you need to go to the vets. Now, if the vet does diagnose your animal with MBD, metabolic bone disease, then what the general prescription will be is an oral dose of calcium globinate. Sometimes, on some very severe cases, they may add it as an injection rather than an oral dose. They'll keep bringing you back in a couple of times just to uh, do the blood tests, make sure the calcium is getting into their blood levels and being transferred into the bones of your animal. Once the calcium levels are up in the blood level of your animal, then they'll probably bring you back in prescribe you with some calcitonin and that is just a simple supplement to add on top of your fruit, your vegetables, your live food, on top of your calcium and your general nutrients, just as a quick boost to help them recover quicker. People think, oh no, vets, really expensive. This day and age, it really isn't. Similar to MBD. MBD used to be extremely severe. Any animal that got MBD, just anaesthetize it. No, 
the times have changed now technology has moved on we are now at a place in technology and in science where this can be cured it's not that expensive to go to your vets so that's everything you need to know about metabolic bone disease in your reptiles and your other exotic animals if you've enjoyed the video if you found it helpful or useful hit that thumbs up button it really do appreciate it and it really does help the video if you're new around here hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it so next time i upload a video you'll get notified peace out guys